Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up your vehicle right now with this latest update. Um, I've also added a hoverboard as an example how easy it is to also do something else. So um, if we have a look at this hoverboard, uh, it's actually just mostly different animations and well, obviously a different model um, and that's pretty much it that's all there is to it so just added that to show some of the flexibility no additional scripts needed anyway um, let's get into it so normally you'd go here vehicles and add your vehicle I've added a new category uh, empty so these will be um, uh, the prefabs that will allow you to set it up with ease and they come with a new script so this is a reference script. Um, so obviously as there's no model and um, there will be a lot of empty references and this aims to fix that in one simple script. So first off, unpack it. There we go. Next, add your model. Now I'm adding the same model um, and one, yes, kind of lazy because I didn't want to do another, um, but also because this model is actually quite flawed. Um, it comes with a lot, a lot of wrong rotations um, and I did that for a reason, um, at least for this video, um, because it kind of shows how to troubleshoot as well um, if things don't go the right way. Now, if you're going to do your Sinti models, for example, or a lot of other nice models, um, you won't have any of these issues and it will actually be a lot more straightforward. Um, but there will be plenty of models with issues, so that's why uh, I wanted to show you how to address that as well. So uh, next up, uh, unpack, make sure you unpack um, because we're creating some new objects with the script um, and we're going to uh, assign our references. So main body, um, the wheels, so we'll, um, at least most models will have the right names for these, uh, for the wheels, um, at least easily recognizable. Um, steering wheel. Uh, front left door um, there we go and then the lights um, now the lights does something else that is really cool as well um, it will actually assign um, a material if you want to so that's why we have this um, and that material is set up to also change brightness etc so um, yeah kind of cool um, so let's add those and let's add those so click assign light materials um, and then auto setup so just want to show you as you can see it's a lot of empties IK is empty as well door transforms empty um, lights are empty and here the visuals are empty as well now I'm going to press auto setup and boom it's all set up materials are uh, set up as well really cool stuff so I'm going to remove this now uh, just to make sure I don't mess anything up and do things over again um, and yeah um, there we go so let's uh, let's troubleshoot some of the things early on so this is general everyone will have to do something here um, so this is the wheel colliders um, you know it's hard to guess the right size because every car is different but yeah this is uh, pretty much it um, that's the thing with unity um, humanoid models all have a perfect defined rig so you can have things pretty pretty you know done pretty well um everything else is not like a humanoid rig right there will be things you have to manually change um it can't be a one-click solution just not possible with anything else so um that's the wheel colliders um all set up um we've got the uh, most of the models set up as well as you can see um even have the ik uh, points created on the steering wheel so this is where the hand will be placed so this is left hand, that's why it says left. Um, and then um, let's do the right as well. There we go. Uh, and then here, just do the opposite. Uh, if you're going to do it nicely, add some rotation, make sure you check it and you know do it in the proper way. But um, yeah, this is some uh, guesstimation. Um, I'm not going to do anything else just because I want you to see the issues. Um, but basically, um, if with most, uh, well, not with most, with a lot of models, you'd basically be pretty much done. Yes, you will need to move the trigger, enter, exit to align the animations. Obviously, every car is different. Um, 
so uh, in the trigger enter exit actually one of the things that I just realized um, change shot you do need to assign the shot here to the vehicle shot um, and then here um, no we're all good there goes to the main shot so little thing here um, but it, yeah that's pretty much it um, parent is um, literally where uh, the model is going to be sitting um, so again in your own car you might have to move that around um, and then center of gravity um, is literally the center of gravity of the car so you know um, I wouldn't mess around with that too much um, as normally it should be pretty much fine but yeah I'll leave it up to you um, cool so um, and yeah for most cars um, you're basically done now and you're pretty much set and good to go so going to hit uh, play here um, and yeah hopefully that will sort a lot of things for you um, and now let's get into the advanced troubleshooting part there we go um, so here's the troubleshooting part you already see the wheels are wrong the door is wrong and that's it now we can still drive like keep in mind this is just visual it doesn't actually do anything else um, so we can drive normally um, it's just a visual aspect basically um, and that's pretty much it but yeah we need to fix that uh, and going to explain to you why we have these issues as well um, like I said rotations in this model are actually kind of wrong they're just not set up correctly um, so if we have a look here um, at the wheels you will see um, these values here um, and the wheel um, well the wheels actually have those rotations so what I'm going to do first um, let's get let's do that first so I'm going to drag out these wheels here um, put them at the top um, and you'll see it's actually the wheels that have those strange um, rotations strange values um, and that is causing the issues so these ones uh, the parents they just take those values so that's why they're now set like this um, but we're going to set those all to zero um, like it would have been if the rotations would have set up been set up correctly with this model um, just to bulletproof it I'm going to create an empty here uh, create an empty um, again keep in mind this is literally just for um, where is create empty uh, this is literally just for the um, the meshes um, like the models like the rotation you know visually it doesn't do anything else um, there we go uh, and then I'm going to drag them back in so they'll maintain their weird rotations um, but that's just how the model has been created um, and then here we go so now if I'm going to um, hit uh, play um, yeah first thing you'll notice is um, the wheels look normal now here um, which is great uh, we'll do the door in a bit and yeah um, the wheels are all nice and tidy so all good the hands as you can see um, if you have a look at the model uh, the hands location is slightly wrong but again play around with those IK points um, and yeah do the rotation a bit different as well because this rotation is again not perfect but at least the placement is pretty pretty on point so cool um, let's fix the door as well uh, again uh, door I'm, I'm reason I'm showing the door as well is because doors can be slightly tricky because um, doors have um, you know um, angle points hooks basically let's say it like that so here's a door and if we set this to center um, this is what it most of the time will look like if we set this to pivot um, it will look like this so what I'm going to do so I'm going to duplicate this I'm going to turn this off for now um, and I'm going to create a empty parent um, actually let's uh, let's do this here so well, let's leave it a pivot and um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to set this basically where um, you know the door hinge would be I couldn't come up with the word hinge there we go so um, yeah this is not going to be perfect um, I'm not going to pretend it is but it's uh, uh, it's it's pretty much pretty much there Yeah, 
uh, something like this. There we go. Yeah, something like this. Cool. Uh, nice hinge. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that door in there. Um, and we're going to use the hinge instead. So door hinge. Uh, again, it all depends on your model if this is necessary or not. Um, there's no universal rule. Um, and then in here in the, um, where are we? Uh, the car entry. Uh, I'm going to assign the door hinge instead of the door. Um, I could have also just messed around with these values. Uh, I just prefer nice uh, zero values. It just makes it easier to test. Um, but again, rotations are kind of wrong in this model. So um, I'm doing it this way. Interact and then yeah, pretty much good. Um, as you can see the window is a nice little touch. Let's actually do that as well. Um, for the window, um, it's actually a separate object. Um, so make sure you make that a child of the door itself. And then now when you um, open the door, it will actually open it um, normally. And yeah, cool, we're done. Everything looks good. Um, and that's basically how you set up your own model. Um, and this is what some additional troubleshooting. Cool. So um, the same way I've also done uh, a couple of others. So if we have a look, rapid template, uh, vehicles, empty, um, we've got a hover car and bike. Now I know they're both empty. So why is that different? Uh, it's because one is using the entry script for the car. One is using the entry script for the bike. Um, I've done the hoverboard, which is quite simple to be honest, because there's a lot less to do. Um, and then uh, the motorbike as well. So I'm going to drag this here, just to show you what's slightly different here with the references. Um, the um, initial setup motorbike also creates the um, feet targets for IK. Um, it's kind of different, of course, different wheels, because there's only a front and a back. Um, steering wheel slightly different and again have a look at these examples but you know you always have to troubleshoot a tiny bit but yeah I uh, I hoped I made it as easy as possible here um, don't think I could could honestly make it much uh, much simpler than this uh, in terms of setup so yeah hope this helped um, and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one